Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. So we're just here with uh, Laura and Keane and Colm. Gonna get their thoughts after the nil all draw between Ireland and Northern Ireland. Who are you telling to move in there? In, in to go, we're nice and close. I can clip that out, so don't worry. So, Lorcan, what are your thoughts on again? Um, well, I, th I think that this one bit is the fact that we well, didn't generate a chance of recognition within the 90 minutes. Like, it's it's kind of this one. And then, with 10 minutes to go, he brings on Soros Christie. I mean, like, there were so much more options from the bench that we could have brought. And Scott Hogan, I, I don't think he's really... I don't think he's really proven to come on with 50 minutes to go, where he's, he's never really proven anything. In the last game, he didn't do much either, and I don't really think he should have come on, to be honest. What do you think yourself? Yeah, kind of the same. I think, like, especially on the day your man, Alba Femi, announces his intention to play for Ireland, would have given the credit okay. lift. Yeah, would have given the credit lift to bring him on, as opposed to, like, Shawnee Maguire going off after five minutes of coming on. Would have given the lift to the credit for bringing him he, on. He didn't look happy about coming off either. Like, we were watching from the screens up above. He didn't no. look happy. He looked pretty pissed off about right, uh, yeah, coming well, off. even still, like, I think even bringing someone to give the credit lift, bringing him on, would have done some good. But, uh, I don't know. We didn't have one chance in the whole game pretty terrible like we haven't had a goal in the last three games we've been to 100% how do you feel just not happy whatsoever I mean I mean like you couldn't uh, in my opinion I want O'Neill to be our manager but last three home games like how many games have you won since say Denmark 12 months ago like what has what has our team shown since then like absolutely nothing today like you hope for something. I know it's a friendly, but it's against Northern Ireland, which, like, it's not really a friendly. Like, like, there is some meaning to it, and we've yeah, there's a lot of limited resources with, with Northern Ireland. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, and we've shown we showed absolutely nothing today. Like, I mean, absolutely nothing. Like, if we lost today, you couldn't say, "Oh, we were we were hard to lose today," because I, I think other than Darren Randolph, we would have lost three 0 Exactly. Really I, I mean, at, either, like, 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 like attacking with nothing, with nothing going forward so. whatsoever. Like, I think Sean McGuire. Like, I do like him, and I think it, he will be good for us in the future. But today, and the last game against, uh, in the last two games against Denmark and Wales, he showed absolutely nothing. I know he was injured in the last two games. Like, he did come on against, uh, against Wales, but like, he he hasn't shown anything. Coming off to get today, it was just like. I don't know, I wasn't happy. And then I don't know, Scott Hogan coming yeah. on showed absolutely nothing whatsoever. Like like it, like, it, like a midfield as well. He's not a Premier League midfielder when he plays for Ireland. Doesn't dictate the game at all. He's kind of a fucking bystander when he's there. And he's doing nothing really. Like you think he'd kinda of step up and play for Ireland properly and he's doing nothing. Like he's not a I don't know, a Roy Keane or a, like, even a Glenn Whelan, like he doesn't take the game with a scruff of the neck and do anything for Ireland really at the moment. And Robbie Brady thought it was poor enough as well today. I thought he was decent, but that's just me. Uh, yeah. How do you feel? About which? Just, I mean, just in general. Other than, other than, other than, Dar right, other than Darren Randolph keeping us in the game, how does you feel about the game itself? Yeah, it? I thought Robbie Brady was alright to be fair. Um, obviously, they kind of pressed high, so Robbie Brady kind of had to pick the ball up deep to be fair. So. I, I didn't really think he could do much going forward wise because he was literally taking the ball off the centre half but um, yeah it is it is kind of this one from the rest of the midfield perspective and the fact that the two wing backs just never seem to do much to be fair um, today like even Coleman today like but Matt Dart even the last day like it's just they don't really seem to get on the ball that much so you just I don't think I, I I don't think they suit the system. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah, I just don't I don't think game, yeah. I don't even think like it's worth playing them out there. Pretty much they get on the ball like they get on the ball a bit, but they don't affect the play that much. So like I think you have to look at that five at the back. I don't I don't really think it works to be honest. Yeah, because we haven't mean, generated a chance like a noteworthy chance in 90 minutes there and we didn't really make many chances three games, yeah say, exactly like, like yeah. so like you'd have to look at that five at the back like does it work we they didn't do much in 180 minutes of football like like at the start at the start of the say two games in the last period of uh, matches and today at the start of it i was 
100% pro O'Neill I thought like if you look back at what he's achieved in his tenure as manager but like since since September you look since, at the uh, game a year ago exactly yeah. exactly since then since the Denmark loss you wonder like what like what have we done to progress the national team since then and there has been literally nothing whatsoever positive to look at and like I think he has been successful in his tenure as a manager but at the, at the moment you kind of have to look as is there anything better that we can kind of look at to guide our team forward especially since this is the last break until our uh, competitive qualifying fixtures next March because I don't know if that team if, if the management and the setup that we have right now will take us into a successful European qualifiers come March I don't think so to be honest I, I think he deserves another another campaign like I mean, he got us. He got us the last. He got us the last year. I was, and he got it to a World Cup playoff. Like, I think he deserves another. We've heard of the the way, but but I mean, there's two. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Are you for O'Neill? Are you not for O'Neill? Let us know in the comments. Uh, Huge shout out to the lads for coming on because not a lot of people want to talk about Ireland uh, tonight. So, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.